what's up everybody how are we doing out there in podcast land did you guys miss us we're back we're back we got a name we're ready to rock and roll here how you guys doing how was your guys uh new year's i was going on there b-dog and dum-dum <laughs> <laughs> Why does V Dog already have a giant smirk on his face? Because he's I'm ready. He's excited good. to be back. I, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, spent New Year's, you know, with you and the fam. It was, it was good. But uh, it's cool to get back into some video game talk. I know it sucks that we didn't get to record anything while you were here, like we wanted to. We just got busy. Yeah. Hey, that happens. What about you, Dum Dum? Glad to be back. It's, uh, how long has it been? Like two weeks, something like that. We missed two weeks. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I feel like we got a decent amount of stuff to talk about. It's good. Oh, we've got we've got a decent amount of stuff to talk about. Like we're ready to rock and roll here. I feel like. Um. So I guess we got to get the first order of business out of the way. We came. We the, a name has been picked. I know it, it wasn't the the maybe the group decision, but we couldn't come up with a name. Is that true? I mean, that's pretty true. Yeah, it was it was a struggle. So we came up with one. It's a it's a shorter name, so it's not, a, and it's a lot easier to type. Which now that we have a name, it's going to. I'm going to try to get us on Apple and I and Spotify. Everything's going to be set up on there. So hopefully, maybe a, at least a podcast or two from now will be good for there. So if you guys want to listen to it on that, you can, or whatever else you're listening to us on, whether it be YouTube or any of the other ones that I have it set up on. So the name we're going with is the Play Us Podcast. It's kind of a play on words, you know, play us like you want. We want you to play this podcast. You want us to maybe play some games with us, play a movie, whatever it may be. So we're going with the play us podcast. It'll be set up. This one will be the label as play us. I'm going to switch it all around and everything I can right, uh, right after when I upload this. So that's what we're going to go with. I'm going to try to get a logo made up for us. I already got one kind of envisioned that I, what I kind of want to see. So we're going to go with that. So that is from now on where the play us podcast with uh, with ice dum dum and b dog yeet that's me and b dog so you know we're gonna hop back in kind of the you know the same format that we've always done um did anybody watch anything in the past couple weeks or what's going on Mm, i watched i finished i think the last time we were on the podcast i was telling people about alice in borderland yep the uh korean show or Japanese show. I don't remember anymore. I think but, it's Japanese. Um, yeah. Is it Japanese? Yeah, it's in Tokyo, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, and uh, it actually ends up being pretty good. Um, I already kind of liked it. I, th- I liked it from the beginning, but they the way they ended the series definitely led off for a second season, which is kind of exciting. And the way they did it was kind of cool. Like, kind of takes up to the next tier. Um, and uh, that was pretty. I was pretty impressed. I know uh, Dum Dum also watched it. I'm excited to see see what he thinks. But the other show I watched was a show in it's um, a Danish show called Equinox, and it's kind of like a it's like a a pagan like cult type movie where it goes and it takes like a real belief that pagans had and like turns it up to 10 and makes it supernatural like if, as if it was real and a bunch of kids go missing from a graduation in the middle of this field because like they were driving around Denmark for some reason I don't know why they do that but uh <laughs> they all go missing but like three three people from that class that were on the bus don't go missing and that's the very first episode and the, uh, the sister of one of the girls that did go missing is like investigating it later on in her life and it goes through like what she remembers as a kid as as like stuff unfolds it's, oh. it was actually really cool yeah um i wouldn't say like it's not the most exciting show and stuff uh some of the ideas were kind of cool some of the special effects were kind of cool but it's like i would say if you're into subtitled films it's like worth a watch but it's not it's not like a must see yeah. As, as some of the other stuff I've recommended. But it's worth a watch that. if you're into that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, it's worth a watch if you're into that type of stuff, especially like pagan like, you know, that type of belief system, like Scandinavian old, yeah. old um, Which you're religion definitely and stuff like that. Well, yeah, and it, it was kind of cool. But other than that, I haven't really, haven't really been watching much series or anything. Okay. So yeah, you've been busy anyway. B Dog, when you watched uh, Alice in Borderlands, was it English language? 
Like no, could, I, don't, they... I don't watch I don't watch foreign films dubbed. I watch them in uh, whatever language they're filmed in, and I watch it with uh, English subtitles. That's what I figured. See, the one on Netflix is English dubbed. You can change it. You can go into your settings and put it into its natural. Like you can put it into whatever language it. It will say original. So oh, I put, okay. like, Japanese, and then I so put you English can watch it dubbed. Yeah, yeah it was can, but it's 100%. Awful. It's awful. Their mouths well, were a little me, off, but it that's didn't really... I can't yeah. do it. It, like, throws my brain into a weird spot. I can't, it's like, I I just can't do it. it oh, but I know you, like, you don't mind reading subtitles, unlike me, who doesn't really like reading subtitles. So the English dub version was actually, like, perfectly fine with me. Their mouths were only out of sync it wasn't like you remember like those old uh, like kung fu movies like and God, stuff where like they'd Godzilla. You know, it's like, oh yeah, like Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah, uh huh. Run! <laughs> it was it was not even <laughs> close to that bad. It was actually pretty good. And like some of the times, I'm like, are they saying this in English? Like I was looking at their mouths. I'm like, because it I wonder how looks exactly like it. But I wonder how much of like the translation from the subtitles is. I wonder if they just read off the subtitled English script into the dub version, or if like we got slightly different sentences and like different you know what i mean like if the I, dubbed voiceover part it was the same as the subtitles i don't know I, would, I don't know how that works i would imagine that if they did like an english it's got to translate super similarly but yeah i ended up watching all of that in two days i didn't think i was gonna like it it came up uh, on my youtube i mean <laughs> netflix recommended i'm like oh this is a show that Beto was talking about i was like i'm gonna watch one episode because I thought it was going to be in Japanese and I was going to read subtitles. The first thing that comes up is like, Arashimu. I'm like, yeah, here we go. And he's like, hey, what are you doing today? I'm like, whoa, whoa. I'm like, this is English, baby. Let's go. So I was like, all right. And then I watched the first episode and I'm like, all right, this is super interesting with the playing cards and everything. I'm like, what's going on here? If I can watch it dubbed, I might try to watch it. It's actually really, really good. Yeah. Hmm. It- it's okay. really I didn't good. know that about you. I, I could probably make it if it's good. If it's, it's worth not like, bad if you're dub. if you're saying the series is good, I could deal with dub. It's if definitely it's worth, a good series. Then I, I might I might even give it a go then. Now that I know it's dub. Like I, I mean I, anything I, on Netflix that's a Netflix original that is in a foreign language, they will have a dubbed version of it. Oh, so like that barbarian one? Barbarians is gonna be a dub version. Um, oh, to the lake, the Russian one. There's going to be a dub version. They typically, if it's on Netflix released and they're giving it to North America and it's from a different place, they have a dubbed English version. Okay, I that's just never select know. them. That is good. To I know. always listen to it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't think that would be something that interests you because I can't. I, do the if whole it's good, if, if you're saying it's quality thing. product, it's quality product. It's good. It's a okay. good dude. That first, uh, I don't want to spoil anything. I'm not going to spoil anything here. But that first Hearts game that they played. Oh my God. I was like, I knew when you texted what? us in the group, I was like, I knew that was what you're talking about. I was like, my mind is blown. <laughs> right. I did not see that coming by a mile, but that was dude. And especially the end, that huge thing. I was like, this show is good. Like this. Now, is now good. that's what that's Alice. What in, is it? Alice, Alice in Borderland. In it Borderlands. should be trending on Netflix still. Yeah. Yeah, it probably is. Okay. It was good. I liked it. All right. Um, all right. So when B Dog was here, we watched a movie uh, with Gerard Butler, Greenland. Um, it's pretty much about an apocalyptic event going to happen in the uh, United States or well, the world, not the United States. Sorry. And um, it's uh, an asteroid or a comet is coming. It's, it's supposed comet, to pass. Right? It's yeah, it's supposed to pass Earth, and they might get some debris. But then all of a sudden, you find out that it was never supposed to pass the planet, and that they were planning on it, and but they didn't want to like have mass panic. And Gerard Butler gets a random text to start. Right? Was it a text or a phone call? It was. Uh text when he's in the and then it called then it called right after mm-hmm. saying mm-hmm. The, whatever i forgot what his name was you need uh you your wife and your kid are all be here by this point time pack one bag be here by this time you're being chosen to uh, go to a bunker 
and the whole movie is about them trying to make it to this bunker and like like the world's ending then once people know that they're the mass panic the people that he was with at the time they're like well what well, maybe we got a phone call and like they're freaking out i'm gonna i it was a decent movie it wasn't nothing special i think it was a you know i think it was a fun movie to watch with the family for two hours you got if you like that kind of like world ending event i definitely say it's probably worth a watch if you're not if you don't have anything else to watch but i i, I definitely gonna say it's a bad movie but it's nothing phenomenal either. Would you agree with that, B Dog? Yeah, I mean, it was okay. It was like, it was your typical action disaster cool premise, but it's your yeah, it's like your typical Gerard Butler paying some money and let him be in a movie type type feel is what I I thought about it. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't bad, but it wasn't it wasn't you know rock your socks off or anything. And I, I mean, it was never it wasn't really special effects heavy movie. Like there was nothing too crazy with couple that. Couple scenes, a couple but yeah, scenes maybe was... with like debris flying from the. I mean, it was some cool like said some cool scenes. And I, I don't I said I think it's one of those movies. You got something you guys want to watch something, and you go like, oh, I'll check out Greenland. Uh, I rented it because it's apparently was supposed to be in theaters right now. Off the so, Xbox Store. Or? I got yeah off Apple TV. Gotcha. It was 20 bucks to rent because it's technically supposed to be in theaters. So, I mean, I guess we're going to see a lot more of that. But like I said, I mean, if you're bored, want to watch something good, it's not a bad thing to check out. Uh, the Amazon Prime, uh, I was looking at movies on there. There's a lot of them that are like $20 and they're calling them in home theater, something like that, along those yeah, lines. Yeah, that's like, their new, that's their like new theater release, or they're charging you like a movie ticket price to, to rent a movie now. Really isn't bad yeah. though. I mean, if you have a whole family of $20, I mean, it's going to cost you $100 to go with a family of four of the movies anyway if you get popcorn and grab. Oh, it's going to cost you well over 20 bucks. Yeah, yeah absolutely. For sure. What you said, it was a good, I said, I mean, we hope we threw it up on the, the big screen back there. And we just kind of sat down here and we had a good time watching it. I mean, it was, wasn't a bad movie for that. I mean, I don't think anybody hated it that we watched it with. Um, so I mean, kind of getting off the movie topic for now. Uh, see, Lucasfilm Games is its own studio now. They're kind of like the parent company now of all things Star Wars gaming related. Um, which is kind of big in the sense that EA was supposed to have an exclusive deal for all Star Wars stuff for the next, like, I think, two more years. They spent major money on it. I haven't seen anything on the reason like why they're giving it up so soon. Obviously they only made like four games. They made what both battlefronts, that mobile game and squadron rogue squadron. I, I might be missing one. Maybe there's a fifth game that I'm missing, but that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm glad to see that they're going to actually do something with it. Uh, maybe we'll get a new uh, Knights of the old Republic out of it. That'd be pretty freaking sweet. If we get a three out of that, because one and two are pretty good. Yeah. Did you both, did either of you play that? Negative. I think, I think I played the first one. Yeah, Bioware made it. I, I played a bunch think, of Bioware yeah, games. It was, I think so. I think I did. It was really good. So, I'm, I mean, people are hoping we get to finally see another one of those. I mean, I'm excited. They already announced uh, they're doing a uh, Indiana Jones game. And the rumor is that Ubisoft is going to be making a open world Star Wars game. Based on, it's they're going to use that engine that uh, they use for like Ghost Recon and um, uh, Division, like that style, like open world engine. So, I mean, the engine runs good. I, Division could be better. I had some fun in the first Ghost Recon, not was it Wildlands? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Break Breakpoint, yeah. I never played, but I didn't hear good things about Me either. it. But I heard it was awful. So I'm hoping, I mean, as long as they can treat the property right, it should be good. Like that's big news for game. Like that's big news for Star Wars if they can treat it right. And that there's no, they're not just locked to EA making games anymore. Like anybody can make Star Wars games now, which is a good thing. Do you know if that open world game is going to be on PC, like an MMORPG or is it going to be? I, no, no, I don't, I th they don't, they made it like, it's a, it sounds like it's a rumor, but it's one of those rumors that sounds like uh, okay. pretty true. And I don't think that... Anytime someone says open world, I just picture like a MMORPG on the Pick computer. MMO. No, I did too. I did well, too. RPGs are considered a kind of open world. That, that's what I. That's what I mean. That's what I picture. But that's pretty Probably. cool. They, they did the same exact thing that you know how the Office left Netflix. No. Well, the Office. Yeah, I heard about it. And then Peacock out of nowhere picked it up, and now all their ads are like, "We have the Office here." 
this company did the same exact thing. Like, now we got Star Wars, dog. Like, it's leaving this company, and we're going to – Well, no, no, no. Disney just – Disney is – like, this is their license thing. They're not going to license with one company anymore. Wow. Like, well, that's see, good. You know what I mean? Like, they're like, if we want to have these people make a game for us, they're going to make a game for us. If we want to have these people make a game for us, they're going to make a game. No, no longer EA just having the direct rights to it. Yeah, I, I know there's still a couple of Star Wars games on EA Access, too. I should probably play some of them. I, I, I honestly, I mean, if you haven't played Star Wars Battlefront 2, it's actually kind of enjoyable now. I saw, I don't know what game this was, but the physics in this game, it must have been from like early 2000s, maybe like 2010 maximum. It was one of the old Star Wars games, and the combat system and movement roles were like absolutely nuts, bro. Like, it wasn't, you know how, like, a lot of things are, like, like, it will lock on. Everything was, like, free moving. Like, you know what I mean? Like, really? those old arcade games were, like, it's oh, super okay, hard because yeah. everything's yeah, yeah, yeah. free moving. Yeah. It was like that. You know, in, like, a lot of games like this, it's a lot of, like, choppy almost, I want to say. But this was, like, all free moving. So, I should definitely play some of those Star Wars games. Yeah, I mean, give them a try. I mean, if you, I mean, Knights of the Old Republic is on there. It's a dated game now. It came out, like, on the original Xbox. Yeah, but. It's it was a it's a really good freaking game, and it's got one of the twists that people still talk about in video games, like to this day, like the end of Bioshock. Love it. Sure. I I never played Bioshock. Uh, <laughs> bro, yeah. Oh my god! You guys kidding me? Dude, the ending of that trilogy was the trilogy or the first Art. Bioshock. No, the end of the trilogy, like all of them they put together, told, the end he, of it. The yeah, I know the end. ending of Bio Bioshock Infinite. I know the ending of that game. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, we're not spoiling this. Where they like go into a whole bunch of there's like a bunch of that girl. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, there's a bunch of different dimensions and crap. Yeah, this game's been out for like ten years, by the way. So if you guys, are... yeah, you didn't say spoiler alert beforehand. I bro, spoiler. I don't think alert. you have to at that point. This yeah, I don't no? feel bad about that one. That's been like ten years. But yeah, the end of that game was nutty. So, I know B Dog doesn't play the new Call of Duty, and I I really barely play the new Call of Duty. I I really don't care for Warzone very much, but I know a bunch of our friends do, and I I see information from time to time. So, um, I play the new Call skill of Duty, based matchmaking. I still get super angry at it. it. Is absolutely trash. I'm going to just go right out and say that. It's absolute trash. I I play Warzone out of besides, besides, besides B-Dog and my friend group less than everybody else. Would you agree with that? Probably. Me? Yeah. I don't anybody. play it at all. Yeah, but I'm saying besides you, I play less than anybody else. For some freaking reason, I am a I'm rated Diamond 4, Diamond 5 when I go into a Warzone match. I go into a Warzone match and it's like the sweatiest of sweats that you could play. And this is a game, this is a game that I don't play very often. So I'm I'm not up with all the latest and greatest tactics and what guns the meta right now. I just go in and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna play. And I do I start doing good. I'm like, why are these kids all so good though? I go and I look at the rest of my friends who play all the time. They're in bronze and silver league. Why, how in Call of Duty's brain does that make any sense is beyond me to like the highest degree, which is stupid, which whatever. I don't think skill-based matchmaking should be in any type of battle royale. It should be safe. Skill-based matchmaking should be safe for ranked game modes because it's, you know, skill-based matchmaking at that point, not a social game. Whatever. We talked about it before. I'm like Fortnite's a battle royale. They have their own ranked version. Which, Which it should be. They, if you yeah, have a ranked version, have a ranked version. They should do that in Call of Duty instead. Every game should do that. That's how it should be. But yep. now, so a lot of your high-end streamer, like Call of Duty streamers and uh, Call of Duty YouTube people that play Warzone, apparently they've been glitching the system. They found a workaround to always get into the lowest of the low leagues. That's why they're dropping 30, 40 kills a game in Warzone. Why is that fun? <laughs> because they make so good bad. content and they make it look like they're phenomenal. Uh. So, and I'm going to put this out here for anybody that's listening to it. This is how you do it. I looked into it. This is exactly how you do it. Ready? You ready to be? You need two accounts, whether you're playing on the computer, the Xbox, the PlayStation, or any other, the Stadia. I don't know if Stadia has Call of Duty. 
you need two accounts. So you need two systems. You, you take your account that you normally play on and you join the match on your brand new account on the other one. And you can do this with, you can do it with duos, triples, squads, any of that. Like load boosting. into the match with this brand new account that's never played a Call of Duty match before. It automatically gets put into the bottom tier. You quit as it's loading in. It puts you into the bottom tier games every single match. Every single match. Like clockwork. That's why some of these guys are literally pulling off some crazy stuff and they look so good. But that's all you have to do. Dude, imagine so having stupid. to play seven-year-olds to make money on Twitch and get Some of these guys are making bank over, though, because they that's look like I'm they're saying. like like phenomenal players but really they're playing they're playing against dum-dums hey i'll mess those kids up you know the titles of those videos where it was like 50 bombs solo new meta and then it has like a picture of the gun and it's like plus kill plus kill plus kill i can't stand that crap it sounds like you've watched a bunch of them i don't i've never seen one of those i i I just like like, seen that before (laughs) dude i'm gonna type it in youtube i'm sure something will come up exactly like that but isn't that crazy that people are doing that? Yeah, it's pretty stupid. I don't like it. And, and that that it can be done too. Like that's that's another thing. Like fix your game. What an easy workaround. Yeah, exactly. Well, surprise. And then the other thing that people are doing now. So when I was watching this video, I clicked on the next video in my suggested link when I was watching like somebody talk about how it was done. The next link was new way to win, guaranteed to win Call of Duty Warzone matches is a stim pack glitch that you do at the end of the countdown that it glitches the game so you can never die. Are you nuts, dude? That's pretty good, it's, actually. The only way you can it, it goes off is if you throw a frag grenade. So what as happens long as you don't throw a grenade during the whole that. match, you're golden. What happens if three different teams do that all at the same time? What happens if the game just never ends? I think the game just... Probably. Yeah. That would be awesome. Y'all just I guess a bunch of people say it. It's just happening now. People are just doing it. Those guys know. Those guys know what's up. <laughs> but first of all, who figures that stuff out? Who's just like at this exact time in the countdown? If I do this, how does that I'm going make, to live forever, bro? How does it, how does that make this game any sort of fun? Like any sort of fun? What is the point of this? Some people like to win no matter what. Doesn't matter if you're good or bad. They just want to win. It's so. I don't agree with that philosophy. Oh, I, I, really I mean, don't. what's the sense? If I, if I want to, if I'm going to win, I want to win. I don't want. I don't want to be like. If they suck, that's one thing, but I'm not going to rig the system so I go against people that are awful. Exactly. Or cheat. It's almost cheating. It is a cheat. I'd say it's cheating. It's more of a glitch, but yeah. But I mean, like I you, agree. you're doing it with the intent of playing against literally the lowest of the low. Yeah, it's it's a multiplayer glitch, which is a pain. I agree. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It just it, it bothers me a little bit. It really does. I mean, like, we can sit here and make fun of them all we want. Those are the guys making all the money, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Playing against bronze players, dog. <sighs> it's upsetting. It's really sad I, to know. That is pretty sad. I bet you they get sponsored by Ray Chattel Legends. And that wait. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> absolutely. Thinking about it, remember we were playing with Mohigs and Shroud killed Mohigs? And Mohigs, like exactly. you said, was Mohigs a, is a bronze, was two bronze player. league. He's a yeah. bronze too. Shroud, you must use that technique. Thank you. I didn't want to call Shroud out on my stream on, on the podcast, but Shroud, what Does are you doing? You? Well, no, 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 no. I told you about Shroud a long time ago when I saw him. I saw him stream Tarkov once. I was like, okay, he's a decent shot, but everything is done for him. He's yeah, got he's a four man team running around doing everything for him, and he just kind of goes, I'll okay. agree with that. So, and I, over I mean, here. Oh, I'll loot this. But the, 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 the real <laughs> the, the preference why we were talking about Shroud, I watch Smoke on uh, Twitch. He's a DayZ streamer, and Shroud subscribes to him and plays DayZ with him. And I was like, wow, that's crazy that, like, you know, Shroud does this for Smoke. Like, you know, I mean, he, I guess they go back, they used to play Counter Strike or something together. Um, But watching those two play now, now, Smoke, by no means, is a small streamer. He gets an average of 4,000 views every stream, which is good. If I had 4,000 views in all my streams, I'd be a happy man. I think that's, like, top streamer. But but and compared to Shroud, who gets, what, 40,000 views a stream. That's elite. 
We're talking top. If you get over a thousand, that's but huge. I'm not done. Okay, go ahead. Smoke was literally out shooting him. Like all the conflicts, like all the all the battles they got into, Smoke was like, I was like, how the hell is Shroud this famous? Like I don't, I don't get it. Like he's good. Don't get me wrong. Definitely good. He's good, but how he is like that point. But yes. So yeah, He's when carried, Mo Higgs though, for sure. Mo Higgs got ran into by Shroud, and we went into a stream to see if it was him. I couldn't believe it. I was like, why is he in this with him? And then it was a bronze league. He was in a bronze league match. Shroud should never be in a bronze league match. Never. No. Absolutely not. At all. I mean, definitely not. He's way too good at shooting. The, Even though I mean, he might not be the absolute best at shooting, he should be. Uh, there's no way he, there's like, no reason he should be in a bronze league. A I mean, and don't get me wrong there's no reason that i even think i should be in a bronze league but i shouldn't be if i don't play a game all the time I, there's no reason i should be in a diamond league not a not a chance that should not be a thing i should be in a copper league why are you in a copper <laughs> league worse than bronze dog <laughs> apparently tom holland has a new movie uh coming out to apple tv why you gotta piss b dog off already oh uh, what is it I don't Spider Man eight. I oh, right here, <laughs> Cherry. I don't know what it's about though. He says Spider Man. What did you say it's called? Cherry. I don't know. I saw a picture. This is the picture I saw. He's holding a gun at the thing. So I don't know. It's. I guess he's making some bad decisions in his life. It releases next month for a chick. I like it. I don't like. I the don't Russo know. brothers are in charge of it, so you know they're, they're staying with the. Uh, oh, Bill Skousgard's in it too. I don't know who any well. of those people are. He's it. But, um, kind of on the movie and the Russo brothers and stuff. So hard pass. Uh, <laughs> he really hates Tom Ireland. Like this poor kid is never gonna do anything right in B Dog size. Make a good movie. It's just it's just not gonna work. <laughs> Tom Holland. Dude. Tom Holland donate like ten million dollars to charity. B Dog like tax. Right he off donates ten million dollars to B Dog. Still doesn't like him. It's, yeah. Oh no, definitely a tax write off though. That's why. They yeah. Do that. Oh, for sure. Um. So Chris Evans, Cap? possibly coming back as Captain America. See, I thought at the uh, end of Avengers Endgame, he like gave that up. So he kind of he did. So I mean, a little like fan fiction he becomes an old man at the end uh, okay end game Spoiler. happened it was one of the biggest movies if you haven't seen it i'm sorry we're gonna talk about end game the end of end game cap becomes old man cap which happens in the comics 100 happens he gives the shield away to bucky and this he gives it to falcon which falcon does become cap in there but he skipped over bucky whatever um he becomes old man cap and then comes back. I think he has to come back to help Bucky and Falcon like do something. So I wonder if they're setting up that storyline. He said news to him. Like he tweeted out that's news to me that I'm in talks with them, but he's done stuff like this before when they were talking about it. So I don't believe anything they tweet. Um, I think it is a good chance that he does. Cause he said, if the story was right, that he would come back What to me, that sounds like if the paycheck was big enough, I'd come back. That's what it sounds like to me. Um, the biggest rumors out there are that he's going to do a di- one of the Disney Plus series um, for what happened when he went back in time to return all the stones. That's going to be like its own Disney Plus series. So when he goes back to like put him back in each spot. That would be really cool because he was um, gone for and a long time. Then the, the other thing is they're saying, because it sounds like it's a multiple thing, is that he's never going to have another standalone movie. But in whatever the next Avengers is, he's going to be a part of that. You know what I mean? Like, remember how like like Robert Downey Jr. did Iron Man? He did one, two, and three. And then he never had another standalone, but he was pretty much one of the main characters in Civil War and he did oh, Avengers. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I gotcha. something along those lines. That's sure. Cool. Which I like. I thought Chris Evans was the perfect Captain America. I was super happy when they cast him, and I was I was like, "This is good. This is good stuff." And he didn't let me down, bro. That's I'll, America's ass, you know. That is America's. That's what that was the tweet that I the that the news article said. America's ass might be back in film. Oh yeah, like, what? So I said, but I'm a, I'm a Cap fan, so I'm I'm excited for that. The only thing that bothers me about Cap is that like, and I, I mean he's Cap to me now, but he was in the fantastic four 
I know. But think about it like this. That was Fantastic Four that did, that wasn't in the Marvel Universe. I know, but it just, you know, it gets me then sometimes I, when I see so, him. Well, <laughs> see, you're on to something now. You are on to something, though, with that. So that was my my thought was, you know how for the new Spider-Man movie, all the Spider-Men are going to be in it, even though they're technically all from different you timelines and universes like before disney owned them and well technically disney still doesn't own spider-man i'm wondering is this somewhat of a same thing is you know he's captain america in the mcu that we know of but when they see him in an alter universe are they going to make reference to him being the human torch in that kind of like they're doing with the spider-man and stuff like that because they already talked about how there's now there's going to be multiple universe theories and blah 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 like that's how they're going to get around some of this stuff. So I'm curious to see if that's something they're planning on doing too. I'm sure but they are making a new Fantastic Four. They'll definitely throw a reference in there. I'm sure, even if it's they a one, gonna, li- if it's a one liner, they're gonna definitely they're making a new Fantastic Four. So I'm curious to see who the, those are going to be. Um, everyone keeps saying that uh, Mister Fantastic is going to be um, uh, the dude from. Is it the Office? Andy, the main dude that I know the chick's name's Pam. Oh, Jim Halper. Oh, uh, what's his real name? Yeah, he played. He was in Thirteen Hours of Benghazi. Yeah, yeah. John oh, Krasinski. Um, yeah, yes. John Krasinski. Yeah. Krasinski. That's it. He. Everyone keeps saying that he's going to be Mister Fantastic. Why do you not like John Krasinski, bro? That's the problem. Is I like him. I don't want uh, to be in Fantastic Four. He's got a problem with people he doesn't like. He's got a problem. <laughs> People like we needed to go back to a B Dog said multiple podcasts I... ago where just get random people and fill all these roles. Yes, that's what I'm that's saying. Why thing. do you have to get uh this guy who's been in a few decent movies and make him be in something terrible in Fantastic Four? <laughs> you don't know Disney's done a pretty good job with all the properties. I'm curious to who they're gonna do for the new Wolverine. I'm sure, somebody you know Wolverine. I, well, sure, it's, uh, I Jason people, Momoa. No, people no. want it. People want it to be that. Uh, they be? want to. They want to do a younger Wolverine. They want it to be um, the kid from the Elton John movie. And uh, I haven't seen it. Didn't watch it. The Kingsman. Oh, we watched nope. that. Wait, did I didn't we, see that. Wait, John was was it something ta- Tagger? Yeah. Was on. the Kingsman the movie where they say the c word a lot? No, that's the gentleman. Oh, the gentleman. That was a good movie. This kid. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Taron Egerton. Mm. That's how I pronounce that. That's that's I've what people are saying they want to my life. That's what people oh. are saying they want to be the next Wolverine. He's he's a stockier kid, so I could see why they'd want him to be that way. He's got no facial hair, dog. I mean he can grow yeah, he facial. He cannot hair. be the Wolverine. Are you sure? I think the guy one two like to the left, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Yeah, that kid looks like Wolverine. He's got. Face he's already. Be, he's already been in the Marvel universe. He's Quicksilver. Oh well, Quicksilver is way into a Wolverine costume. Oh jeez. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know. I'd be happy if Cap came back. If if Chris Evans came back as Cap, I just I just finished uh, watching actually a series with him. Not to like sidebar off of that. Uh, Defending Jacob on Apple TV. It's. It's based off a book. I'm assuming the book's called Defending Jacob. It was definitely a good watch. I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, we, we knocked it out in like two nights, all eight episodes, which is, if you know my wife, is absolutely uh, like astonishing because she stayed up late to watch them. So that's if that says anything about how decent it is. Which is so up I, nine o'clock? No, she stayed up to like 1030, which Jeez. is crazy for her. Like she's a pumpkin at 830. Yeah. So it was, like I said, it was worth a, I, I recommend it actually. I enjoyed it. It's a nice drama series. It kept me interested. All right. Should we tell the people what they've been waiting for? Depends <laughs> what the people have been waiting for. Yeah. What are they waiting for? Bro, they want to know that Pokemon snaps coming out. It, did you, you looked at my What's list? That? Is that why? Is that no, why? I sent the Reddit thing the other day. Yeah, I, we, saw, I saw it on Reddit. Okay, so Dum Dum has a co- like this concept. habit. Dum Dum has this habit of sending like news a day later. Like when everybody's <laughs> already heard about it, he's just like, "Oh, did you guys see this?" Like, <laughs> it takes a while for the news to hit the front page, dog. You know oh what I mean? It's like a day or two late. 
so Pokemon Snap's coming back, and I think it's like soon, right? Yeah, April 30th. Well, it's I'm coming not, to the Switch, yeah. Nintendo Switch. I'm no super. Did you way. watch? Did you yeah. guys watch the trailer for it or no? I did not watch no, the trailer. For it. It oh, dude, out. the trailer looks so dope. I cannot wait to play this game. It's going to be so much fun. Are you getting dude, a Switch? I'm trying to get, yeah, I'm trying to get Scyther to come out of the come out of the bu- jump level. out of the thing. Yeah, yes. dude. Oh, my yes. God. I yep. played the crap yep. out of that. I, I, I'm probably going to get it. I'm not going to lie. Oh, dude, oh. 100%, dude. We're all going to play it. I'll have Holly get it. I'm definitely gonna play it. Uh, sure. He's gonna say, say he, he's gonna he say it's to Holly's say he game. Got it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh-huh. Holly got this. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Uh-huh. I, yeah, yeah. I, I tried snap, it once. Snap, snap, snap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tried it once. Uh, B dog. It says you have 212 hours in Pokemon Snap. <laughs> Yeah, you know, no, that's Holly's like that. game. Holly only yeah. has 12 hours. We, we both play it. Yeah, we both play it. It's no big deal. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's funny. Um, the first one was so, like, see, the first one for way back in the day was so in depth. You could do so much random stuff that you wouldn't even know, like, throw rocks at Squirtle and stuff. That's and, what like, I'm saying. If you, if you knew the, like, that's what we're saying. There's uh-huh. so many secrets trying to get, like, like he said, trying to get Scytho to jump out was a secret. Like, so imagine this one, like, X amount of years later, they're gonna dude. There's gonna dude. be so much stuff. I can't. I hope so, yeah. Dude, I'm stoked. Yeah, it looks really. I'm fun. gonna get it. I'm not. I'm, I'm. I'm not afraid to admit that I'm going to. 1999. Buy That's what I'm talking about. Twenty. Were you even born years? yet, Dum Dum? Yeah, I was four <laughs> years old. You were four, bro. Imagine being that young again. I played that game when I was young, young, and I remember so been playing games. What have you guys been playing? You guys been playing any over the past couple weeks? What you got, B Dog? I've been playing a lot of Halo. Actually, really? oh, yeah. I've been playing a, I've been playing a lot of um, classic Halo Two. Halo Two, cla- yep. H two C. Getting the, I've been getting the, uh, the BXR back. I've been trying to get the uh, double shot or the quad shot. Still can't really do it reliably. <laughs> uh, but people be doing it a lot to me, which is a really big pain in my ass. Um, I've been playing FIFA a little bit. You're playing Halo with Rust Boss. I'm playing Halo with Rust Boss. And Dum Dum. And yeah. hey, he taught me how to be XR. XR. Yeah, he That's did. That's right. And he did it in his first game. I was very proud. And I sh- shouted like a little girl. I was like, oh, my God, yeah. I just did it. <laughs> yeah, it was way better than that, though. <laughs> um, it was way louder. <laughs> yeah. Uh, other than that, I haven't really been playing much. I've actually um, – I usually would be playing more FIFA, but with Team of the Year coming out uh, next week, I'm kind of taking a break, just sitting on my coins. Because the more I play, uh, the more I spend my coins. So, well, you got you, Wait. you got a good card recently. Oh, I got a lot of good stuff. I reinvest a lot of my money into the market because uh, one of my favorite players is going to be getting a Team of the Year. I'm pretty sure. So, oh. saving up for him. Is that what you had me vote on? Yeah. <laughs> he texted me in the middle of the night. He's like, "Vote on this. Vote exactly like this." I was like, "Okay, yeah. we'll vote like yeah. that." Yeah, a couple of those players, the players that I want on my team. So we're kind of waiting on that. Not really playing a ton. Yes, yeah, playing some Halo, and that's about it. Okay, all right. What about you, Dum Dum? I played three new games that I never played in my life over this last two weeks. Three? Whoa! Three. I didn't even, know you even count that high. It was hard. One of them oh. is a mobile game. What was it called? I'm just curious. Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Bro, I downloaded it because I'm like, we talk about it so much on the podcast. I'm going to see what it's like. It, dude, it was... Uh, it's like a lot of other games. Just know they're going to sponsor us someday, so just make sure you... I know, that's why I'm, <laughs> I'm keeping on the low. But I got to say, like, the... Like, unbiased... They have a lot. Bro, no, they have a lot of like different armor sets for like all your different heroes. Like literally, I could see how people would get so in depth in this because they have like crit sets, attack sets, defense sets, life steal sets, and like all your heroes literally have different abilities and crap. So sets. you can you can unlock them in game. You have to pay for them. Uh, you do the campaigns and the raids, and you can unlock them. I don't really know what you pay for, but I know that. Was there so you, how 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 did the microtransaction look, bro? When you open up the Heavy. game, it's like thirty dollars for this X, forty dollars for this X, two ninety nine <laughs> first deal offer X that out. Like nine <laughs> things would pop up telling you to buy stuff. That's like, why oh, they can X, afford X, X, to sponsor X, X, X. us. YouTube for I know. 
yeah. a year now. They've been on YouTube for a year. Listen, a let's let's Ray get this like, going. Let's go, dude. I I'm not every joking. day. If I open up the app right now, we'd click at least five or six X's asking me to purchase bundles. I but. would have the best crit set ever. Let's go. <laughs> I don't even know what that does. Let's go. Oh, critical damage. Like crit hit. You know? I get that, but I got but he doesn't know who he's gonna play as. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's meta. I don't know if that's the yeah. deal, but I'll do it. I also though, I played Valorant on my computer, downloaded that and played. And then since that's a hero shooter, I'm like, hmm, I'm better on Xbox than computer, I think. I'm not really sure. But I downloaded Overwatch on my uh, That's how that went? My Xbox as well. That's that's how that went. What did it go a different way? Tell me, please. Yeah, did it go with? I was like, well, I mean, if you're gonna, you, you were like, oh, I should buy a computer. I was like, well, why don't you just play Overwatch on the Xbox? You already have an Xbox, brand new Xbox. I still want to buy a computer. I almost bought one at Best Buy the other day. And then he goes, oh, what is that good? I was like, it's considered one of the best hero shooters. Why don't you try it? So, and he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, and I, dude, I, that game also. You're gonna be playing really, really, really fun. I downloaded it. Way. Yeah, really fun game. Like honestly, I've been enjoying myself, even though I've been getting pooped on. But <laughs> we do when the game first started, I'm playing against actual people, right? I'm getting like 32 kills, dying like eight, nine times. I played like four or five matches. That must have been like the beginner entrance level lobby or some shit. Skill-based matchmaking kicked in. I got destroyed. Oh, the people that play like, that, yeah, they know. I was like. The, oh my dude, there's so much dynamic and team strategies to that game that I was just a dead weight. I felt and so that's what I game. told you. That's one of my problems with like a hero shooter. If you're gonna play a hero shooter, you have to be committed to that shooter because the metas are always changing. You gotta oh, know one of them. It's you okay gotta know exact exactly. You gotta know exactly who to play with, and then you play in high level, you got the whole team that people get mad at you if you don't play the character they want you to play as like same with like um smite type games. I ain't got you time know? for that. That's what I was just yep. going to say is that you I feel like you can learn Overwatch and the metas so much quicker than you can learn like Smite or League of Legends and all those interactions because that's a giant universe. I've never all played right. Smite in a while. I, I just feel yeah. like Smite, there's so much. Smite and League of Legends, there's so much dynamic with every little thing and the item store and everything. These heroes just literally have abilities. There's no buy store. You can't upgrade that's them. That's true, really. too. It's it's yeah. a set boom it's, boom yeah, boom. It's, hey, you know, yeah, it's a kind of a like I said, it's a more basic gen, generic hero sh- hero shooter. So it should it, what I'm saying is it should be quicker to pick up, which sure. mm. it's fun. Gotcha. It is fun though. I'd bump my sensitivity up super high because that's what everyone on Reddit told me to do. It's, yeah. It worked out a lot better though. I have one off-topic question that might tie you into another topic though. All right. Do. You, do you remember who K Ghost 7K was in Halo 2 that we played with? We played with him quite a bit. Ghost 7 or Ghost 027? K Ghost 7K. It sounds familiar. Whoever it was, and if they're listening, they were very good at Halo 2. Uh they had a total kill ratio. They had total kills twenty eight thousand, total deaths nineteen thousand, and sixty five hundred assists. In in H two, and we yeah, we played with them. Well, quite that a bit. that is going to be the next topic we're talking about here, actually. Uh, so Halo dot Bungie dot net. This site sadly is going got to be all my shutting games, down, dude. Got all my games. It's got they they kept this site up for a long time. This has all of like here. I'll type my game tag in. This Somehow has, I still managed to play positive, which makes me happy. This has that makes me very uh, happy. Uh, it's so sad. Oh, where's you see, it was last updated on since 2012, March 31st of 2012. It was the last time this site was updated. So they're shutting it down. So if you want to see any of your stats from like H2, H3, you got to go look now because it's going to be all over after this. Like this, I screenshot this is, everybody I could think of. <laughs> it's going to be. They never look. I'm trying to think like, is there another way to, I know I was looking at it before and you could actually say, Oh, right here. Ice zero. 
You forgot the five, brother. Boom. Brother. Like, yeah, here's my here's my what, overview of the Halo 3 stats right here. I don't know what it's, I it's kind of It's kind of tough to get to Halo 2. You have to... What are you going to do? How, what the hell is I, that? How did I get here? The last um, thing I ever did was I lost a Team Slayer match on lockout. That's kind of sad. Dude, that's not how you want to end Halo 2. Uh, so, I was playing with Kevin, my, my cousin, and uh, my brother. Nice. I probably did terrible. How do you I was get looking at my last. Stats? I was looking at my last couple of games. And I was playing like crap. Um, How do you get... Let me keep talking. I'm gonna figure out how to. Here do we it go. Again. Look, it's my total kills were fifty five thousand two hundred and eight, and I had forty seven thousand deaths. That's really good. And then I had thirteen thousand assists. I played six thousand thirty games. I only played does... three thousand. Something. <laughs> does Does this go over like from Halo three like way back in the day on the three sixty? Yeah, this is those stats. That's what I'm saying. This is going to be gone forever. These stats are going to be gone forever after this. Bro, what about Halo 3? Click on your Halo 3. I want to see your... Here's my Halo 3. Here's my history. I had a rank KD of 1.34 and a social KD of 1.59. My favorite weapon was the battle rifle. I had 8,179 kills with it. It's not even a lot. I feel like that's a significant amount of kills. I think I had more than you. What was your name back then? Let's find out. How did I get that? I, I was, was literally just name. on it. My name, like my like, old gamer tag. Space or no? I don't think so. Well, now everybody knows your name. Well, see now you only had four hundred and sixty-five okay. kills. No, see don't... that definitely didn't. That definitely wasn't from like way. Type back in. Then. Go to the like upper right where you're typing in your uh, gamer tag or whatever. Up here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can. Dude, yeah. five point. Let me see what you're saying. Um, I can't see anything on your screen. Upper yeah, right up there, yep. and then click click on that little arrow that's right next to it to the left. Yep. Click down on that, and then click Halo Two Gamer Tags, and then search on the right. Oh, it brought me up with the same thing. Oh, is it? Yeah. GGs. Oh, hmm. that's how I got to my Halo Two games. Anyway, so that's yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. You can see asking. the Halo Two. You can see the Halo Two games. You don't remember your password. You don't remember your screen name was though. That was my last was. game too. And Halo 2? My last game was 924 2007. 924 2007 at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Bro, yeah. That's the last time you guys decide to play that game. Yeah. That's sad to no, think about. Actually, One day actually we... it isn't. Actually, it isn't. Well, it's not, but yeah. He had, uh, you had another gamer tag, and I had another gamer tag too. Um, it was. Uh, super Ice Buddha or Super Buddha Ice. Good luck spelling that, dog. I don't remember. I, we did have it, but I... I'll find it. I'll find it. He says I'll find <laughs> it. But yeah, so this it's sad. Though. Like, this stuff's going to be gone. Yeah. Rip. It's really upsetting. Like, I, I spent some time in this game. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we're looking at stats from 2007. I can understand Highest skill so level, high. highest skill was 50. You know, that's me. I freaking, I wish I knew what your thing was. We could see. We'll never know now after. When you is had this... a couple awful games. Did I? The last couple I clicked on. Yeah, and then there's other three blew me out of the water. But... And you don't remember that other gamer tag you had? It, we had a Super Ice Buddha. Oh, this is after the reset mm-hmm. and everything, too. Because they reset all the Halo 2 rings after a certain point. I saw it earlier now. I can't find it. Apparently, I can't look at this one. We had a good little team back in the day. I noticed a lot of the games I played were objective games. That's why I have so many deaths. Yeah, that, well, we did play a lot, too, of that. So when's this site closing, do you know? Uh, Unfortunately, soon. First week of February. Oh, wow. That's super soon. But yeah, so Whoa. I just thought I wanted to bring that up. I know people that watch me are Halo fans, so um, but that's yeah. You remember uh, Rust Bus had Rust four 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 four. Yeah, I just seen that. I haven't seen that in a long time. Oh yeah, that was uh, matches. That's insane. Like 
Uh, bring back so many memories of people that haven't played Xbox in so, so long. To, to segue into the next topic, for if anybody's around for next Wednesday, so the Wednesday right after this, because this is going to come out on Monday, so we uh, will be streaming on Twitch. We're going to be doing some Halo Customs, so if anybody's in the, the chat, we can probably get you guys in there rotating in and out. Um, we're probably doing good fun doing like uh, some Tower Power. I know Rust Bus want to do some Jenga. Maybe do a couple races. We're gonna have a good time, so we're planning on doing that for uh, Wednesday night. If anybody's interested, rocking all that stuff. Um, That's gonna be fun. I'm excited for other that. Next order of business that I want to talk about was yes, that. So we talked about before we did the podcast that we were going to. So entitled gamer, I do have something I want to talk about, but we're gonna. I'm just gonna post that on the YouTube channel. We're gonna do that on YouTube. Um. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to talk about Mandalorian is going to be its own thing on the YouTube channel. Um, I'll, I'm thinking about posting maybe the Mandalorian on Wednesday and the, um, and if we do an entitled game, it'll be on Fridays. I think that way I'll kind of keep that going in the same thing. Cause I've been doing the voice chat encounters, but I haven't had time to edit them and we haven't been getting good voice chat encounters anyway, but some of them have been fun. But yeah, so this we're going to talk about the first Mando episode. I'll pull up the uh, synopsis so you guys can see kind of what the first one is. We'll talk about what we thought about it, what we remember about it in case we didn't get to catch up and watch it. So yeah, you'll see <clears throat> if you guys want to hear about that, you'll have to just tune into the YouTube channel. I'm not going to post that on the podcast and all that fun stuff. Um, so yeah, yeah so every, every, every uh, day. So there'll be most likely videos on the YouTube channel Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So yep. if anyone is watching this or any of those videos just know that ice 50 is most likely streaming at night and most likely me and b dog are with him if you want to come hang out yeah you guys want to actually chat with us live we're usually in there live. 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 and, and my twitch live. is ice 50x i think i usually link it in the description for the for everything if you're watching on youtube but yeah it's just ice 50x on twitch because apparently i can't get ice 50 um yeah pay for it I, I, I want it. Whoever has it doesn't even use it on Twitch, which bothers the heck out of me. That sucks. But Can we both play on that account? <laughs> yes, we shared that. I found that. it. We I shared that account. Because there's games where you're playing with it and there's games where I'm playing with it. <laughs> <laughs> there's a game where it's uh, with Ice in that team and there's a game where it's with Mary Pop and Poppins. Like, <laughs> this is kind of weird. Yeah, we shared that account. Okay. Make a throw. Like, That's funny. Is somebody else I don't know about, or yeah, yeah, I don't know. We should we shared that account. Okay. Um, those was good times. That brings up memories. And uh, so, I don't know. What do you got? You guys got anything else you want to ch- chat about uh, this week? Bro, I was excited. I just was really excited about Pokemon Snap. Honestly, I saw that. I was just excited. Yeah. I was honestly just excited to get back and do the podcast. I I was like, yeah, I enjoy getting together and just talking to you guys. It's been, I mean, I really do. I don't think we missed any topics. I think we covered a lot of the big top topics that I want to talk about. Like I said, I got one we'll talk about when we do entitled and we're going to talk about Mando. But besides that, I think, uh, I think the first official play us podcast was pretty good this week. Hell yeah, baby. I do too. I do too. I do have one thing I, I want to say before oh, we go. Okay. And I think Russ bus would also appreciate this. Um, if you're playing Halo two classic and you start off the game, noob comboing, don't one don't do that and two <laughs> don't teabag me like just just don't teabag us it's if you're gonna start off the match noob comboing do not teabag us teabagging in general like but if you're gonna noob combo and teabag that's just that's a that's a low end that's like uh and when you're up when you're up kills do not noob combo like still it's so that's embarrassing exactly. to you and your family. <laughs> and if I ever saw you, we'd have a physical altercation. That's all a I'm physical saying. Physical altercation. That's all I'm saying. You're probably oh, an awful person man. and I hate you. Oh, that's goodness. all I have to say. I love it. I love it. Yeah. That was a that was a personal vendetta right there. It was. Mm-hmm. I, that's a good way. Yeah. I think that's a good way to end the first playoffs podcast. Hell yeah. Do. Don't come at B Dog. Yeah, That's don't don't come at B Dog. I'm hoping don't happy to that see us too. Up, dude. Don't do it. Yeah, but <laughs> hey, you know what? It was awesome chat with you guys this week. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad we're back. 
I'm glad it's going good. And uh, I think we're going to catch everybody in the next one. Later. Peace. This is the way.